Hey everyone, welcome back to another counter side video. Today we're going to be featuring the rearm system. We're gonna go through the basics, uh, pros and cons, and also the impact on Southeast Asian server when it launches. So here you are, guys. What you are seeing is the actual patch notes for um, the Korean server. So I will also put a link in the description for this one so that you may see the original version. And um, if we go over to our counter side employee guide, we can see there the counter side rearm system that was translated. Thank you guys for the translation for this update for the Korean server. So just gonna go through a you know, couple of, um, couple of uh, highlights for this uh, update. I'm not gonna go through a lot of step, uh, you know, um, detail by detail for this one. As you can see, there will be a new art for the employees that will be rearmed. Lifetime contract is going to be still be there once you rearm them, and employee skills, role, and cost may change once you rearm them. Okay, rarity also increases for your rearmed uh, what you call this your rearmed employees and the level will actually reset to one so those are the important things that uh, that you can take away from this um you'll have to regrow your employees once you rearm them so sad to say you're gonna have to level them up again skill level increases to 10 so now we have a maximum of uh, of five so it's going to be a plus five Gains leadership abilities as well, as you can see here, which can attack your, uh, which which can affect your whole team. Um, in terms of um PVP and PVE, so and I think there there will be a lot of buffs effects for your leaders that will be given by your leaders. And um, just to note, guys, um, if you have already um, if you have a rearmed uh, employee. The base version cannot be used together with that rearmed employee. So in the case of Shaolin, you cannot have your rearmed and your base version together in one team. So sorry for that. And skins can be worn by your rearmed employees. Just in case you just in case you know you were wondering if what if I spent already for um, this uh, employee and um, I purchased skins so you can actually use them. So just want to give you guys a brief rearm requirement if you want to rearm an ssr before we go to um, how to rearm so these are the ssr requirements for uh rearming so 12 uh, 14 ssr units so these are actually copies of uh, can be these are copies of other ssr units hopefully that is true because if this is going to be copies of the same um ssr unit that you're going to rearm so that is going to be a problem so this uh is going to be this can be other ssr copies so you're going to have to um set aside seven nine task points for forty thousand information two million credits just for one rearm for an ssr 60 satp cores 270 apt cores and 150 fusion cores to level it up okay for rearm so that is actually a lot of requirements that you're going to have so um right now um a lot of things are going through my head um so how to rearm employee so the best way to rearm your employee is uh, sorry the best employees to rearm is going to be your srs because you're going to be you know you're going to have a lot of copies of sr employees you can actually farm but for ssr um it's really really hard to farm ssr i only actually have one extra ssr right now if i can think of and that is serapel because my serapel is only is actually at 110 already so we have an extra one so this is going to be a tough one guys especially if you are free to play for the whales this is all also going to be tough but again they have the, the resources to pull this off so what does this mean for southeast asia well we guys have you know we have time to prepare for this i do hope so because again once this drops in the korean um server 
they're going to you know they're going to be they're going to check it out they're going to see if they can do it but the advantage of the korean service they've been ahead of us in terms of um having i think they have more you know more extra ssr copies uh if they have not consumed them then they have more and they have kept it but again um we have time to prepare for this for southeast asia and the gap number two is going to be the gap between the whales and free-to-play players is definitely going to be going to expand so this is actually the disparity that's going to happen right now in southeast asia i think um there are free to play players that are competitive that can, that can compete with whales especially if they have you know they have um they have lucky pulls and they have built their team well they played since launch so after this one it's going to be a big gap okay it's going to be a big gap for for free to play and whales and number three are we ready for this at this point probably not because we just got the game last i think may so hopefully by the time that uh, it reaches us in southeast asia there have been you know corrections already or probably there have been improvements to lessen the difficulty of the re of rearming employees especially for ssr so that is actually my wish because again um as i think about um the rearm system this is going to make or break this game um is it worthwhile to rearm a certain employee probably some employees but not all because again, there will be changes in and there will be changes in the skills. There may be changes in what type of of uh, you know what type of uh, employee is going to be. It's going to be tower. It's going to be sniper ranger. So there are going to be changes towards the kit for the rearm employee. So I'm not sure if um, if all employees will be rearmed. So that is actually my take. Uh, it's going to be a select employee, you know, employee group that can be rearmed and can benefit from rearming. Because again, you have to be wise in rearming employees at this point. Um, and I hope that free-to-play players will not be discouraged by this. Because um, if 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 um, if the game developers will just be, you know, be, just be um balanced we'll just have to balance um the experience of free to play in wales it it would be better for everybody because again if this shifts towards the wales you know boundary um a lot of free to play players will, would be would be you know would be disor uh, not disorganized discouraged by this um i actually feel for you guys because i have tested a free to play account it's really difficult as is right now to be free to play and as they implement this and uh, this is going to be more you know more difficult for free to play players but again i hope this doesn't discourage you guys to end this my final thoughts for the rearm system i'm actually happy that there are game improvements moving forward um, especially in terms of difficulty, in terms of um, in terms of leveling up, in terms of new skills, new new art, new what do you call this? New gimmicks. As long as it is achievable, and as long as it's reasonable. So those are my take for this. I'm actually okay with this. Um, I'm actually looking towards the future, and in hindsight, that they improve this after they have data for the korean server experience uh once they roll this out in other servers they could have probably tweaked this already and you know provide a better user experience especially for free to play okay guys so that is it that is my take on the rearm system i'll also put a link for the rearm system um in the description so both the the patch notes and the rearm system translated I will actually put in the description. Also, if you have thoughts on the rearm system, please put your comments down below. I'd, I really appreciate your inputs on the rearm system because this is a topic that we will be 
um, talking about for a long time in the Southeast Asian server. Okay, guys, for those who have stuck this far this video, um, thank you very much. And uh, please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. And also don't forget to click that bell icon once you have subscribed and put a like to this video. Thank you, guys. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.